Hello traders, welcome to today's video. So the past couple of days have been quite fun, haven't they? Uh, crypto has sprung back into life with the whole Binance, Coinbase, FUD, SEC situation. If you've seen any of the live streams that I've done, then you will know my opinion on that already. So we don't really need to cover that. And um, yeah, we're just gonna focus on the charts here and a couple of trades that I am looking at today. Uh, one other thing I would like to mention before we get started is, well, obviously hit the like button, hit subscribe if you've not done so already and go and check out TorusCrypto.com. But later on today, I am going to be trying a new streaming service. So YouTube's great for the static content, um, but for streaming, I think uh, it's not the best. So I'm going to be trying out uh, Kick later on. So if... Uh, you are unfamiliar with it, it's a brand new streaming platform. They seem to be taking a lot of market share away from Twitch at the moment, which I never really liked too much. Uh, but we're gonna give this a go today. I'm gonna give myself a bit of a challenge. I've set up a new account and I'm gonna trade the account during the live stream. And if any profits are made on the live stream, then I will give away all of those profits during the stream itself. So it should be a fun one, uh, it's experimental. It will be entertaining, hopefully. And um, yeah, please do go over onto uh, kick.com forward slash Taurus Crypto and follow and uh, create an account, follow and join me later on for that. But anyway, let's get back over onto the chart. So we don't need to talk too much about what happened. Uh, you know how bullish I was right now when price was down here. You know I took the long position. And yeah, that was a, a really, really, really nice trade. So I'm still holding a little bit of that left now. Would like to get the opportunity to compound. I was really hoping we'd get a move down to um, the point of control from the BART day, uh, the day of the Gary Gensler and all of that uh, from, when was it? It was Tuesday. Time's just gone, yeah, a bit wild this week. So that was really good fun, uh, good trade there. And from yesterday, I actually took a short position uh, midway through the New York session. So I'll cover that in just a moment as well. So yeah, ultimately for myself, I think at the moment we seem to be putting in quite a nice little like rounded bottom here on the profile for the day or well, from yesterday into today so far. If we can get that move into the uh, previous day POC, I actually need to reload this. The market settings are incorrect here. Just bear with me. And I'll go back over onto trading view here. But yeah, ultimately what I'm looking for is a move up today. I would like to see a move up to around about that 26,700 area. You can see here, we've got a nice little OB. We're taking the liquidity above these highs. And then I would really like to see a drop from that point uh, down towards that 25,740, 25,750 area. The previous... Um, well, the, the POC from the day that we that we had the big move up, uh, we've also got some liquidity down there, imbalances to, to backfill and all of that. And I do believe that although we had this, I think this was just a motion. Um, I do consider this to be good support, but I do believe that all of this was just a motion led and we can continue this range for a little bit longer. So if we do just go over back onto the, there we, it's still... <laughs> The mark is still not quite uh, showing perfectly at the moment. I think they're just a little bit a little bit off here. So I'll remove those, but this is what I'm looking at for today is a move up into that volume POC there at uh, 26,780, 26,700. That takes us in above this high, and then I would target a short position from that point. So that really is the main couple of trades that I'm looking for. Uh, Later on, we'll go over the altcoins. We'll do a bit more in that. But I think for today, is there anything else that I really need to go over? No, I think we can keep this fairly short. I can cover the trade that I took from yesterday, which is over here. Okay, and this was from... So we had the short from the morning session. And then as we got the move down, this is the other one that I took, the one that I'm still currently in right now, which was just the typical way that I like to trade New York. So you can see here as we got the move down to take liquidity. So you've got this previous um, 
the pre-New York Open, you've got the highs and the lows that are taken here. You spike into the lows, into the highs, and then that first point in which we start to close below, you allow the market to have a move, then you get the retest into this here, and then you can get that short position. So that was the short that I was able to take yesterday that I'm still in right now. Um, but at the moment, yeah, just, uh, just holding that short position because I didn't see any other opportunities after the take profit on this overnight and also just to act as a hedge on the long for now so yeah i think this is a very very short video uh, but there's not too much more to update on this the plan is relatively simple and it will be if we can get a move back up above that high then invalidation above here and we're looking for a short to take things down here and then if we can get that then we'd be looking for a long again. Obviously, there's little scalps to be had in between. We, and again, we will be looking at altcoins on the stream later on. But I think I'm just going to call it there. It's like a six minute long video, but I think that's enough. I think it's sufficient. So yeah, have a great day. I will update uh, anyone that's in the crew. We'll update periodically throughout the day as always. But uh, yeah, have a great day. And I'll see you in a few hours for the live stream. Cheers, bye.